Hello there guys, it's me again. Today I want to take you to Valle d'Aosta, that is Aosta Valley, Italy's smallest and least populated region. My goal today is to let you in on what you need to know before you travel to the Aosta Valley region. Included in this video will be information on when to travel, how to travel and the best times to travel. Also, I will include information on some of the most fun things you can do in the Aosta Valley. With my scheduling, I hope you'll also find your travel fun, safe and the best experience your memories can hold. Also known as the Val d'Aosta, the Aosta Valley region lies on the three borders of France, Switzerland and Italy itself. It is because of this positioning of the Aosta Valley that both Italian and French are the region's official languages. On this note, a disclaimer guys, I don't speak French, I've neither studied it, but I love the language, so just in case I butcher some words, be kind. I'll leave the subtitles on just in case. Monte Bianco or Mont Blanc in French is the highest mountain in Western Europe and the Alps and it borders between Val d'Aosta in Italy and France. There is an interesting legend on Hannibal that on the 3rd century BC there was an Alps crossing which included a march through Val d'Aosta. Hannibal, one of history's most famous generals, achieved what the Romans thought to be impossible. With a vast army, he crossed the mighty Alps to launch an attack on Rome from the north. Additionally, the Aosta Valley is famous for the wines produced here. There are two major communes in this business, namely white wine from Mogex and red from Gamay. Moreover, it is also the special location of Aosta Valley that gives her such a rich history. The best thing about the Aosta Valley is the incredible number of castles in this valley region. They are simply legion in number. And for me, the best indicator of just how incredible and valuable this region appeared in the eyes of medieval nobility. If you get to travel to this region, you will realize just how beautiful the Aosta Valley is. The towns, villages and hamlets here share space with rivers and stunning mountain peaks. There are some 13 valleys here beside the main Val d'Aosta Valley. Any of them pass by national parks that are filled with flora, fauna and exciting nature trails across some of the most beautiful landscapes in the world. All in all, as a beautiful valley rich in the heart of the Alps, the Aosta Valley guarantees great walks across mountain top peaks. The region is also very friendly to cycling with a number of bike parks on offer. Overall, for bikers and hikers alike, you will get in touch with untouched mountain ranges great mountain air, stunning castles, and charming residents for company. So when should you be making plans to tour this part of Italy? During summer, the best time would be between early June and mid-September. During winter, the December to March period is awesome for travel. These time periods also apply for when planning to do more hiking and biking. Remember, traveling safe is also part of the plan when organizing your itinerary. You do not want to be caught out in the high mountain passes in the cold and snow, and especially not when you are on the Piccolo San Bernardo at some 2,200 meters in the air. So how do we get to the Aosta Valley region? The closest airports are in Milan, Turin, and Geneva. Notably, the Turin to Aosta Valley route is only 55 kilometers long taking you to the Pont San Martin, the eastern gate of the valley. If by chance you are in France, then the French town of Chamonix, Mont Blanc has a tunnel 11 kilometers long that connects to Kumaya in Aosta Valley. On the other hand, coming from Switzerland, you will travel the Great San Bernard Tunnel, taking you from Borge Saint Pierre to Aosta Town. We live in Rome, so we drove for about 7 hours from Rome to Arvier, which is about 770 kilometers where we had our accommodation. 
Now, in case you'll be driving yourself in this region of Aosta, there are a few tips to note. Driving through the highway is very expensive. The toll charges are way, way higher in Aosta region as compared to the rest of Italy. We did it once without knowing and that was it. Avoid the autostrada if you can. Another thing to note is that there are lots of speed machines in Val d'Aosta. Like this region is out here to get your coins in every possible way. So be on the lookout. Generally, this region is pretty expensive. I remember the price of bread and water being quite high. I really don't know if it's because it borders Switzerland. In case you know why, hit us up in the comments. The houses in this region were also unique and something different to other parts of Italy. Let me give you guys a quick tour of our accommodation. Our Airbnb was a four bedroom house for the five of us. Of course, I shared the bedroom with my husband while the rest enjoyed a good stretch.
all in all, I love the region. Driving around, we were surrounded by the huge mountains and it gave me the feeling of just how small I was in this planet. Not in the bad way, I really don't know how to explain that feeling, but it wasn't a feeling of fear. It was quite the opposite. There are lots of fun things to do in this region. The Alps region where Aosta Valley lies is famous for nature trails and mountain passes. Since King Vittorio Emanuele II, a huge piece of land now known as the Gran Paradiso National Park was created to protect the ibex and endangered gazelle species. Today, this park and the trails around her are famed for the day hikes, tours across hamlets, shoreshoeing, zip lining, and cross country skiing opportunities. Taking on these adventures is guaranteed to reward you. Not only will you take in the mountain air, but also see you rewarded with some of the most panoramic scenery in the world. Yet, apart from hiking, biking, and taking in the mountain air, just what else can you do? For travelers and history lovers, the Roman ruins in Aosta town are a huge attraction. Just like in the medieval ages, the Romans understood how important this piece of land connecting many parts of Europe was. Traveling to the Aosta Valley will thus let you see the Roman remains in Aosta town, including among them the old Praetorian Gate, the Agassan Arc, the old Roman Bridge, and the Roman Theatre, among others. For me, however, it was the castles in this part of Italy that drew me. Many look like fairy tale castles isolated on hills with nothing but water, green, and tall pines around them. My favorite was Castel Savoia, a castle on a hill surrounded by tall pines. What makes the Savoy castle especially charming are the four big towers around her, making the castle look like part of a plot in a medieval fairy tale story. I'm a girly girl and this castle is befitting for a princess. Sadly, filming inside was not allowed, so I managed to only take a few pictures here and there. Note, however, that there are actually five towers around the castle. The Savoy Castle was built by Queen Margherita of Savoy, consul to Umberto I of Italy. For the former queen, it was the Aosta Valley's beauty and grace that drove her to commission the building of the castle here. Thereafter, the castle would become her home and property of her family until 1981, when the Aosta Valley region bought the castle. Just in case you need a more in-depth history on this castle, aka the boring version, I have the article up on my website, link is in the description below. Well, that's it for today's video. Whether you are traveling for the history and architecture, the sightseeing or the nature trail, remember to plan well and plan ahead. I hope you enjoyed my tour and I hope to see your comments below and just in case you haven't, Please leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe for the next videos. Until next time, ciao ciao!
Batab. Batu, Batab. 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 Oh. Batab. <laughs> but you, 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 but Mama mia, until tube. now you have not understood how it talks. Oh, oh. Tube. How is wrote? T U B E. Eh, okay, but you, but you, but you, but tab. But you understood the no, importance is you understood Mabe. what he meant. Is, how is wrote? Eh? Tube. Tube. <laughs> tube. Okay, they don't add the tube. <laughs> the be. <laughs> Mama mia. <laughs> So you used to live in the castle. You are there to eat like a <laughs> He was wearing dresses. Yeah, it's so ridiculous. Baby girl. Ah, I go on the bridge like Margarita. Oh. Uh. Before the young Himalayan. Is that coming? Oh, I can't. Do it. It's the bridge. Black Mary. Ah. <laughs> Black Mary. There. There. The Madonna Nera is the, the, the protector of the uh, Mil Air, Air Force in Italy. Ah, ah. The, the Black Mary. Yes, si, the Air Force protector. Oh, I, don't re I don't remember the... the Porta. 
Coquia Punta per trekking per trekking andiamo no, trekking signori senti sono carini ah. allora But this is another place now, Niana. Yeah. No, like it looks like, it looks like a conversation, like a serious one they were having. Like look at those people. And they also like, yeah, look at that. Wow. No. It's not normal. It can pass, it can pass. And yeah, voila. There's a stone, there's a house, and there is a tower. There is a town. Yeah. A waterfall. Wow. People, people, what? They eat it. They eat it. They eat it. My ears are black. I'm so sorry. When I'm in the car though, my ears get extra super duper blocked, clogged. Oh, look at them waiting for the sun oh, that's, that's not coming. Munching, munching. The sun that isn't coming. Oh wow, the skates resume more gas. It is Ah, I thought 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 I 